But you don't feel threatened? No. It's very well, they want me there. It's just so far. I feel like they want us all there. They do. They do. You want to carry this in for me? Thanks. They are the long grass. Hey Dan. Yeah. When was the last time we went out and there was no wind? Can you believe how quiet it is right now? It is very, very quiet. I mean I can hear the oil cooling in my car. Yeah. And we're across the street from it. Yeah. An owl? An owl? I just got a bunch of face boxes pop up. <laughs> nice. This monopod is great with this camera. Yeah. What you looking at? Nice. Yeah, it looks really good. There is the Stillman Valley soldier up there. A very, very tall monument. Over there-ish is where Dan got our mustached face in the daytime. Tessa was seeing uh, someone stand over there by that bush. Can't really see it, but it's to the right of the light. Kind of see how the light's Got a space of being blocked by the bush. There's a bush there. Well, these guys just straight up left me. Okay, thanks guys. I'm just gonna walk over here by myself then. Appreciate it. I wish we had more of our exterior lights so we can see better. It's a little dark. If I hold this a better way. There we go. Well, Larry, what's the date today? Today is Thursday, the 17th of May. It's 102 a.m. Okay, do me a favor. Walk over and see what the date on that sign is. This sign here? Yeah. What's the day? May 14th. There you go. Here on May 14th. 1832, the first engagement of the Black Hawk War took place when 275 Illinois militiamen under Major Isaiah Stillman were put to the were put to flight by Black Hawk and his warriors so thoroughly demoralized were the volunteers that a new army had to be called into the field. The point I'm making is we're very close to the anniversary. Very, very close, yeah. Yeah, what day is the 14th? Uh, that would have been three days ago, yeah. so Monday. And? Tessa's birthday. Tessa's birthday. That's kind of creepy. Yes, very creepy. Mm -hmm. The day of your birth was when a tragedy happened. Welcome to the club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, you got that ghost box? Tessa has it. Do you want to use it or do you want me to do it? You do it. If you hold this very still and just click, right. point that wherever you want it. Now there is a big air conditioning unit over there yeah, that you're right. hearing right now. Yeah, okay. Jeez. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually that building right there. Right. Yeah, even the camera's picking it up. So much for being silent. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have our EVP recorder with us tonight. So this camcorder is gonna function as our sound. 
So hopefully I can put it in a good spot so we can get some really clear legible answers. Once Dan's done messing with the buttons. Yeah. For some reason, I, it will not sweep when I'm hitting the thing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, we are sweeping in reverse. And we're going to start the session. Okay, guys, you, you remember us. My name's Dan, this is Larry. We brought Tessa with us tonight. Would any of you like to talk tonight? It's very close to the anniversary of the day that you defended this hill. And we were hoping to maybe talk to one of you. Captain Adams, are you still here with us? What year is it right now? How many of you are here tonight? I thought I heard five. That's what I heard too. Sound like I said, hi love. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a woman though. Okay, well do you guys mind if we sit here for a while with you? It sounded like I heard no. Yeah, I thought so too. Is Captain John Giles Adams here? I clear I heard just faintly it sounded like it said he's here. Hmm. Okay. You know what guys? We're getting so much bleed over worse than I've ever heard on the ghost box. Yeah. I don't even want to use it. I'd rather just do an EVP session because I think that's given us more white noise than. Yeah. I it's definitely loud. Why don't you cut the? Let's cut this one, and do a part two. All right. It's just EVP. Sounds good. <laughs>